Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe mod 2.2 and the 11 mod. And one of you wanted to see a mix of Federation starships from the original series Motion Picture and Next Generation go up against two Borg cubes. Well, we would also have Deep Space Nine on our side. And uh, you wanted me to have the Enterprise D. Well, this is the USS Galaxy. For some reason, when I use the Ultimate Universe Tools application and set up these battles, uh, it does not let me control the Enterprise. But the good news is that the captain's voice on this ship is going to be Picard's, because for some reason the first ship in my fleet is always uh, one of the uh, Enterprise captains. I don't know why, but I have no problem with it, so it's going to be Picard. It's just that the ship's just slightly named something different. Uh, anyway, we have a Galaxy-class ship here, a Niagara-class, a Springfield-class, and an Excelsior-class next generation. We also have Constitution-class ships from the original series, Miranda-class ships, uh, Saladin-class ships, we have Constitution refits, we have Excelsior prototypes, Excelsior regular versions, and Excelsior refitter 2. Uh, we have Cheyenne-class ship, we have a Cheyenne-class ship, and a Bastard-class ship, a Freedom-class ship, and a, uh, some other classes of ships, and we have Deep Space Nine as well. Uh, so let's just engage, and hopefully the game doesn't crash, because that would be bad. It has not crashed yet. And hopefully the lag isn't too intensive either. There's a constitution clash. Oh, jeez. Okay. I have a feeling the lag is going to be bad, and I don't know why. Why would it be bad? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So it happened when I looked at, uh... <laughs> the starbase. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. This is going to be interesting, guys. Let me try something. Alright guys, well I am back finally, and I discovered that uh, not, not only was it the version of the Deep Space Nine I was using that was causing the lag, but also the Excelsior class was causing a lot of lag. So, I got rid of the Excelsior class, changed the station out for this version, uh, turned my graphics down literally all the way, <clears throat> and now it's, it's running somewhat smooth. At least smoother than it was. So, yeah. I don't see any Constitution... Yeah, I don't see any original series airships here, but we have a Constitution class over here. We have an Ares class back there. So far, everyone is... Staying here. These cubes are completely uninterested in us. Huh. Can I hail Open the station? Communication channel. They are not responding, Captain. Helm, get us out of here. Warp one, engage. Actually, let's stop. Engaging target. Let's see. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, everyone warp. To your coordinates. Let's get this multi-era fleet detected. moving. Well, not really multi-era, but... Well, I mean, technically, yes, but it's not the same faction. Aborting warp, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's target this guy. Moving in to attack position. Target. We're taking a beating. Warp speed. Uh, uh. Well, we just lost our Cheyenne class that I had there. By the way, we had a Cheyenne class, Springfield class, Ambassador class, and Galaxy class here. Not too late. Alright. I can't even shoot them. Now I can. That uh, Ares class is almost dead already. We got some lag happening. So a lot of things are blowing up, and there are a lot of torpedoes incoming. Alright, now what is causing the lag is the question. And to that I have, I have no real answer. Alright. But I actually kind of like it on the low graphics settings. Everything is really smooth, usually. 
And, uh, these board cubes look a little more terrifying. Because everything's just darker. You know? Alright, switching to Ambassador class. I'm actually going to target this cube. Same with uh, this guy. I'm going to... Oh, we're going to just lag out for a little bit here. Let's warp away. Uh, how, how about that? In phaser range, Captain. It's because of all those motion picture air ships. They're probably causing lag, too. Photon torpedoes ready. Photons are out. Raising shields as much as I can. This will distract him. Yep, yep, that distracted him. He definitely knows we're here. Our shields are down, okay. And we've lost our starboard nacelle. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're okay, and we're dead. We're just dead. Full power to weapons. Prepare to launch photon torpedoes. Please prepare to launch photon. Okay, let's uh, let's move. Oh, I think we just lost that Niagara class. Yep, yep, yep. Oh no, we just lost that whole that whole attack force. We're losing everybody, aren't we? we can't seem to draw them towards Deep Space Nine, so we're just gonna have to keep on fighting them out here. cube is so far away, yet it's still attacking us. I just heard an original series phaser. That's good. Just lost shields again. Turning. Firing. Ouch. Significant damage to warp drive, Captain. Our sensors severely compromised. Engineering reports significant shield generator damage. Enterprise. Oh, it's the Enterprise. Oh no, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose the galaxy here. Yep, it's gone. Galaxy class starship gone. We still have a few nebulas floating around though, and ambassadors. Thank you, Riker. Figured that out. Well, that's the Soyuz class making those sounds. Okay. There's still one Miranda class left from the original series, alright. That star stock is about to go. He just went. Cube is shooting the New Orleans class next. That's bad. Yep, time to go. Time to go. So those explosions are going to kill everyone. 
Alright, so they did warp away. That is good. Can continue firing then. We are all that's left. And it isn't that much. Right, we have Freedom Class, Challenger Class. Nebula Class still running around. About to lose that Freedom Class. And we're not going to be able to destroy this cube. Lost the Freedom Class, just the Challenger Class and the Nebula and myself. Who are they going to go for next? Oh wait, there's someone else? There was someone else up there. I don't know who that was. Looked like a... I, I, I can't tell. And now they're going for both. Alright, there goes the Nebula. Oh, there I go. And there goes the Challenger class. Alright, okay. Well, all of our ships from across the eras could not destroy these two cubes. They did come close. Eh, wait a minute. Now the cube's fine. Uh, we Yeah, we killed nothing. We lost five ships because it... Uh, we, we eventually were controlling specifically five ships, but our entire fleet was lost. I probably should have tried to dr uh, draw them toward Deep Space Nine, but I don't know how to do that. They just weren't interested in us until we started attacking them. Maybe I should have attacked them, then uh, uh, retreated, but I don't know if I would have been able to control that many ships retreating at once, so I thought it would be just be best to attack them and see what happened, and obviously we lost. <laughs> Whoops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It was just over nine and a half minutes, and if you guys did, then please be sure to leave the video a like, and if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, then please subscribe, because there is always more. If you guys did not like this video for whatever reason, I apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I make, so that hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy them. And as always, if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario like this one, then please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read those and I'll try to use those ideas in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. And I will see you next time.